Okay, thank you. I would like to thank the organizing committee to give me the chance uh, to t t participate in this excited meeting and uh, and also the last, I uh, uh, hope that after my lecture, uh, maybe one year later, more and more talk to have experience of hyperidentic transplantation. Okay, I will talking about the actually in vitro, uh, for uh, 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 the, uh, the in vitro tissue depleted hyperidentic transplantation and the, but mainly focus on the data on uh, unmanipulated myeloability for hyperidentic transplantation and also uh, I'll also mention other protocol for hyperidentic transplantation. As we all know, hematopoietic stem transplantation is an effective cure for, for many patients with hematological malignancies, even for elderly patients. But the many patients don't have a, an actual identical simply donor, especially in Asia with the sharing size of a family. So HLO mismatched uh, family donor is alternative, as shown by this slide, although we can use uh, unrelated donor program or uh, cold blood, uh, but uh, only uh, some of patients can find the uh, unrelated donor. Only, but at least uh, almost all the patients have, have, have at least have one uh, uh, actual mismatch or hyperidentical uh, family donor. This is the, uh, the, the protocol developed by the Peruga uh, uh, group that used uh, T cell depression for the prevention of GVHD and the MACDOS of CD34 cell selection to improve, improve to promote the engraftment. And they can almost, uh, uh, one, almost 100% uh, engraftment uh, and the incidence of GVHD was very low, so they don't, in this protocol, don't, they don't use immunosuppressive agent treatment for after transplantation. However, the, the, uh, the many patients die of infection or, or, or relapse, so the, uh, so the, uh, all over, so the disease-free survival was not very satisfactory. And even more, the other doctors, such as Dr. Warren, uh, used a similar protocol. The, 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 they were not lucky as the Dr. Aversa. The only 9% of disease uh, patient can get the disease-free survivor. In Peking, in our, uh, in our hospital, we also actually at the very early st uh, stage, we also tried to use the, the protocol developed by the program, pro but the, uh, almost all the patients cannot get engraftment or die of relapse or something uh, in infection. So we try to develop another program, as we all know, the GCSF, which was used as mobilized of stem cell, also is a modulator of immunosystem. And based on a serious study, we found it might be mixed of GCSF mobilized bone marrow harvesting, so peripheral harvest is the, is the best source of stem cells. So we established a protocol which we call the GRAC protocol. With this protocol, uh, we have successfully performed the hyperidentical transplantation since, two, since 2001. This is the number of the tran transplantation in, 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 the, in our hospital. And also because the, this protocol was very successful and uh, Many hospital, many uh, hospital in China, in mainland China, uh, applied uh, uh, the similar or completely uh, the same protocol for hyperidentical transplantation. Actually, in mainland China, 30 percent of patients are hyperidentical transplantation. Uh, according, uh, I show, I would like to show the, our recent uh, up, up data. Uh, on hyperidentical transplantation with this, this uh, GIAC protocol, this that has been uh, accepted by the cancer. And uh, as you show, as show in this slide, that the uh, nuclear engraftment is very good, and uh, uh, pathetic engraftment is always 
19%. The incidence of GBHD uh, were, uh, uh, was, was not associated with the de degree of HL mismatch, either one local mismatch or three local match mismatch, the incidence of GBHD was similar. And also, severe GVHD uh, was not associated with the degree of HLM mis uh, degree of HLM mismatch. This is based on the uh, more than uh, more than nearly eight cases of origin gen origin gen sampling data. And uh, uh, chronic GVHD uh, is also uh, uh, around 30 30 uh, percent. Uh, 30 30 percent, and also the instance of uh, uh, of GBHD, chronic GBHD was not associated with a disease type or a disease state, and and uh, uh, we still more experienced that the instance of uh, chronic GBHD was decreased, was decreased because of, because the patient I think it was more experienced. And the leukemia free survival uh, is is very good. Nearly fifty, nearly seventy percent of patient can have disease free survival. There was no significant difference between the patient uh, uh, received one HL local mismatch and two or three local mismatch. Although it seems that one local mismatch have high, uh, higher the leukemia free survival. Uh, listed uh, uh, our uh, uh, comparison study also uh, showing that the, 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 the disease free survival is compared to identical simple donor transplantation or unrelated donor transplantation. Uh, recently, we also uh, demonstrated uh, the patient if the, uh, the patient received the orogenic transplantation or received chemotherapy for high risk or standard risk AMR. The patient received the hyperidentical transplantation have significant, significantly lower incidence of relapse after hyperidentical compared to received uh, transplant uh, received chemotherapy, and also uh, the patient received the hyperidentical transplantation have significantly higher uh, disease-free survival compared to uh, chemotherapy. Uh, since the the GIS protocol uh, is very uh, uh, is very re, uh, re, uh, repeatable, so uh, we are trying to uh, uh, hope the, to improve the the, the result. One is to uh, try to decrease the uh, try to de further decrease the the instance of relapse. As we all know, donor lymphocyte infusion is one of the most uh, Effective therapy or uh, uh, for relapse uh, in hyperidentical transplanted situation, modified donor lymphocyte infusion. That is, we use GCS mobilized peripheral blood, and also we use short-term immunosuppression agent. As uh, shown by this slide, by uh, this modification, we can find the significant, significantly lower incidence of uh, significant lower of GBHD. In mismatched uh, situation, we can find from this data that if the patient uh, uh, received uh, 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 no uh, or less than two weeks short, uh, short term immunosuppression, the, the incidence of DLI related GVH was very higher. However, if the patient lives more than six weeks, uh, immunosuppression agent after the lymphocyte infusion, the GVH was significantly lower. Uh, the CT3 cell number is, uh, is very high, uh, nearly uh, 9 times 10 to 7 per kilogram. So, and uh, by, uh, by applying this modified donor lymphocyte infusion, we have uh, the multi center study that demonstrated that for uh, high risk. Uh, uh, patient, we can use this prophylactic donor lymphocyte infusion to significantly decrease the instance of relapse after the hyperidentical transplantation and increased uh, disease free survival for those patients who received the hyperidentical transplantation in relapsed state. 
And also we can use this uh, 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 modified donor lymphocyte infusion to, uh, to preempt the uh, uh, strategy. This is the uh, demonstrated for standard risk patient. We use uh, MRD monitor after hypoidentical transplantation. Then if the, the MRD was positive, and then we can use a donor lymphocyte infusion for intervention, and then our data demonstrates this strategy can de decrease the relapse and, uh, and improve our survival. Here is the, the patient, uh, the, mon uh, the, the mon uh, MRD was negative, and uh, the patient uh, uh, the MRD positive, and then received donor lymphocyte infusion. A patient uh, with MRD positive and they received uh, interleukin two, uh, interleukin two intervention, and uh, we can find that the patient received donor lymphocyte infusion have significantly higher disease-free survival compared with, with the interleukin two intervention. And also recently, we are trying to uh, to uh, uh, to do interleukin two, uh, try to uh, uh, to do some. Uh, to try to influence the immune reconstitution of the hyperidentical transplantation, might be uh, uh, by doing this we can further improve the improve the uh, immune reconstitution and and also there are uh, some other uh, protocol for hyperidentical transplantation. This is Duke University. He used NDCT uh, five two. Uh, uh, this is an uh, uh, antibody for. Hyperidentical transplantation. Uh, the, however, the disease, uh, it seems the disease first survival varies. Okay. And also, the John Hopkins University used another protocol which they use sacrosporin, use sacrosphosphomide after uh, transplantation, and they published their data. It seems that. Uh, the instance of GVHD was acceptable. However, the, uh, the many patients die of uh, relapse, so the disease-free survival was not very really satisfactory. And uh, also, uh, uh, this is the uh, sorry. This is the actually the the, the detailed protocol of uh, John Hopkins University, as shown in here. Uh, yes, point mirror favor, and then use a for about two days. And also, uh, Korea people used uh, used uh, I think used uh, uh, similar uh, uh, protocol uh, uh, as uh, uh, in uh, they used the Pusafen, Flarabin, and the ATG. The only uh, uh, similar protocol with our our, uh, our use of uh, sex force format, and also we use uh, have another protocol is Bioflarabin. But uh, they use only peripheral blood mononuclear cell uh, for the uh, we saw the manipulation for the source of stem cells. Uh, the uh, the prophylaxis of GVHD is sex A, not CTX, sex A and MTX. The standard uh, standard uh, prophylaxis regimen for GVHD prophylaxis they get very good uh, leukemia free survival and the incidence of GVHD was acceptable. And the recent university of Chicago used CD34 selected hyperidentical donor and the code, on the code blood for hyperidentical transplantation, but uh, but uh, actually the the hyperidentical uh, uh, donor only have temporary engraftment. Finally, the code blood engraftment. So actually, I think this is not a really hyperidentical transplantation. I think this is called blood transplantation. However, the disease free survival is also acceptable. So through this data, we can conclude that the hyperidentical can be a routine uh, alternative source of transplantation. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Huang. Now it's time for questions. Mr. Huang, how do you find your conditioning regimen different from others? Uh, 
different adults? What, what, how, how old are you? Uh, let's, let's compare the uh, stem cell purification with uh, your conditioning regimen. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, what, what, sorry. Would you like to repeat your question again? So, so you are, it seems clear that when we use the uh, CD34 positive selection cells, and no, we don't use for transplant. I know, yeah. but what 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 is your underlying uh, hypothesis using uh, this regimen? Ah, uh, you means the the, the the Chicago uh, protocol. You means the Chicago. Your 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 conditioning. Uh, my condition is the 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 uh, two days sex spotting A and uh, three days persephone and and also ATG and uh, one day two days LSC. Mm -hmm. The dose of LSC is four milligram per square meter two days. Seem to be aggressive regimen, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you.